Here we have a SAT math question on lines. Okay, let's go over the question. A line in the x-y plane passes through the origin and has a slope of 1 over 7. Which of the following point lies on the line? Okay, already we know that the slope intercept form equation of a straight line, which is y equals to mx plus to b. So here m stands for slope and b stands for y intercept. Okay, so here the slope is already given in the question that is 1 over 7. So we can plug in this value 1 over 7 for this m. Then I'll be getting y equals to 1 over 7 times x. And uh, what is the y intercept? So the question says uh, the line passes through the origin. So if the line passes through the origin means the y intercept is uh, 0. So the value of b is 0. So if I plug in b is equal to 0, uh, so we'll be getting 1 over 7 times x plus 0. So maybe we can write this one as y equals to 1 over uh, 7 times x. So this is the equation of the line, given line. Okay, now we have to find uh, the point uh, which lies on this line. So for that, we have to check uh, each option. I mean, uh, we have to check the point we have in each option. So first, let me take the first point that is 0, 7. So if I want to check whether this point lies on this line, how to plug in this 0 for x and 7 for y, and the equation has to be satisfied. Okay, let me do it. So now let me plug in uh, 7 for y and uh, 0 for x. So 7 equals to 0 times anything will be 0. 7 equals to 0 is a false statement. So the point in option A does not lie on this line. Okay, now let me take the point in option B that is 1, 7. We have to plug in uh, 7 for y and 1 for x. So 7 for y and 1 for x. So 7 equals to 1 over 7 times 1 is just 1 over 7. This is also false because 7 and 1 over 7 are not equal. Okay, now let me take the point in the option C. So we have to plug in uh, 7 for y and 7 for x. So 7 equals to 1 over 7 times 7. The 7, 7 will cancel out. 7 equals to 1 is also a false statement. Okay, now let me take the point in option D. So we have to plug in 2 for y and uh, 14 for x because our x one it is 14. 7 goes into 7 one time, 7 goes into 14 twice. So 2 equals to 1 times 2 is 2. So this is true. So when I plug in this point uh, 14 comma 2 into the equation, so the equation is uh, satisfied. So the correct answer choice for this question is option D. So the point 14 comma 2 uh, lies on the given line.